Okay, so I was asked a question about uh, being creative in your workouts. People get confused between momentum and inspiration. And there is a distinct difference between them. The rut that everybody gets into a lot of the times is overthought and thus becomes really, really difficult to understand, let alone overcome. The trick behind being creative in a workout is, ironically enough, is the simplicity of it. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it, it's just exercise. So let's say, for example, you had a Swiss ball. If you know your alphabet, do an elbow plank on a Swiss ball and draw the alphabet with your elbows. Seems simple enough, right? Until you get to D and you're like, dang, C, D, and E are like basically awful. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. If all of a sudden you just thought outside of the box and now you're doing a killer ab workout with a Swiss ball. Let's say it's a weight training gig and you're always kind of stuck between reps and sets. First of all, if you've gotten with the kid, contact me. Other than what's included with the, with, the, with the library, if you have a question about something, let me know, okay? The myself or my, someone from my team will help get you past that. Like I'm saying, that's the mission. So, like the topic, let's say, so you have a, uh, an issue with reps and sets. Pick a big number, say 100, pick your three favorite exercises, and I'll just say push-ups, sit-ups, and squats, whatever. So you got 100 reps, divide them between your three exercises, and I don't mean, you know, 33.3, 33.3, 33.3. This is, let's say you do push-ups first, all right? Do as many push-ups as you can until you cannot possibly do one more, and then switch to a crunch. Do as many crunches as you can so you can't do any more. Keep track of your numbers for all of them. So say I do 12 push-ups and I crash out at 11. I'm sorry, I crash out at 13. Cool. I start at 14 with my, with my crunches. Burnt me out, I'm gonna go to squats. I do my squats now. 24, 25, and so on, all the way till I can't do any more squats. And then I start back up my push-ups. Add, you got three no-brainer exercises. Easy way to rep a count and just go after it from there. What happens is we get confused behind the, what's supposed to happen and we get lost in that gray area between expectations and standards. You know, just, just get started, man, and get the first rep in. It's not always gonna be, yeah, I'm excited to go do crunches, right? Like, who, who says that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the times we'll say, I'm excited to get into that bathing suit, or I'm excited to take my shirt off at the beach if you're a dude, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're a female, that works too, whatever. We, we focus on the glory behind the prize, not the glory behind the, the, the process because that's where, that's where it's at. So the trick to being creative is being simple, period.